hey guys welcome to my channel and today i'm going to teach you how you can install mac os in your windows by using virtual box as you can see the virtual box image is right up so first you have to go to the link in description below and choose your host whether it's your windows or os mine is windows so i'll go for windows and i let it download but because i have already installed virtual box so i'm going to pause it here and i'll cancel it here and i'll just show you after downloading your virtual box will image will look like this so you just have to click on it and click next 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 and virtual box will get installed on your uh, pc or laptop and after downloading the virtual box looks like this this is how the virtual box look and as you see i have already installed mac os here and I also have other machines so I'll just show you how you can download Mac OS but before downloading Mac OS you have to go back to the same link given in description below and download this uh, virtual box extension pack you just have to click on it and it will get downloaded as you can see it's already downloaded for me and I'll just go to the place where it's downloaded I expand it this is how it will look like a green icon and you just have to click on it and it will open by itself on virtual box and you for me it's showing reinstall but for you it will show install so you just have to click on it I agree and it will install by itself as you can see it's successfully installed and I have installed it successfully now we have completed our first part now we have to download Mac OS so that's how I have downloaded it link is given in description download the Mac OS uh, extract the file and it will show in green color then come back to tools here and put on new mac os you can give it literally any name you want and ram you can choose i have 12 gb of ram so i can, i would like to give it just about that much this one that's it okay so just click next so you have to use this uh, use existing virtual hard disk and you have to click on add and go to the place where you have downloaded mac os file it's around 6 gb file and as, as you can see it's right there and i choose this and you create just click on create and mac os is there for you but for now you don't have to click on start you for because i, I have already installed mac os for now i'll just remove delete all files here and then I'll just show you there's another link in description below which tells you command file link so you have to go to command file and this is how the command file will look like for you so you just have to go replace uh, all that you can see here your VM name to Mac OS because my virtual machine name was Mac OS you you have to change it to the name you have given so replace all so this will replace my your vm to mac os now what you have to do is you have to go to search box and write type cmd command prompt run as administrator once it's open what you have to do is you have to copy each and every command file one by one and paste it there and click enter you have to literally do it one by one for all the lines I have given and I really don't know why we should do this but this is how the this is how the Mac OS works and you just have to go after doing all that command one by one you just click Mac OS and then hit the start button so as you are running it for the first time it can take some time but for me it was already installed before so it will happen quickly so we'll just wait for it to start so first time it can take more time for you for me as I have I have been already using there are a lot of benefits of Mac OS uh, so you can take use of it and we'll it's just loaded it'll come up now yeah 
so there it is so we have this apple now when you are running it for the first time it will ask you for a few question it will ask you to create apple id if you have already existing apple id so you just have to click 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 next and you just have to complete all the requirement procedures over there so this is how the mac os window will look like and because i have already created my apple id so i can just log in here and so this is how your window will look like so thank you for watching guys so this is how you can install uh, your mac os on windows thank you so much